guys. Y'all ready? Um, give Georgia State a lot of credit, guys. They came out and they competed really well. Gave us a lot of problems, and, and we obviously have a uh, lot deeper and more talented team. And um, you know that showed up over the course of four quarters. So uh, good win, but uh, as in any game, a lot of mistakes and a lot of concerns. And so we got to clean it up and get on to the next week. And that's what we'll do. Yeah, you talked about this game being a chance for you to show some maturity. Did you maybe start to see it before the before the half, and then early in the third quarter when you guys finally? Yeah, we, we kind of we came out and you know we didn't have the spunk I was hoping we'd have. Um, I mean, we put together a real good first drive and scored, though. That was a good drive. Um, but just, you know, they had seven fumbles and we recovered one. So that's kind of a sign of um, the tenacity. Um, but we, we did a good job. And then third quarter, you know, we came out and um, imposed our will a little bit, and that was good. Right, right, I guess, sort of set the tone for you. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Is that more of his maturity? Well, he had a great stat line. You know, it's pretty impressive stat line. So uh, he's doing good. He's had two good games and just got to go week to week. You just seemed real patient in the pocket all day. With him. Yeah. Yeah. Did you just feel like he had a pair of confidence in coming into this game? Yeah, I don't think it's any different than the last game. You know, he has it. He, he's earned it and he's playing well. Um, so each week is going to be another test, you know. Each week's going to be another test. Just kind of assess the run game. Did you get done what you wanted to do there? Um, well, it's it's the same old deal. You know, sometimes we look pretty good running the ball, and sometimes we don't look good at all. Um, and um, you know, the third and one, we had we had another third and one, and a fourth and one with the twos or whatever. Third and one, short yardage is an issue. It's shown up twice now in two games, and we're gonna have to keep searching on what we do. Maybe we just need to spread it out and throw it. Justin, uh, Justin Hunter had a good game. Two, two games just now. Is his confidence in his knee? And, and is that where he wants it to be? And does he look like what Justin looked like last year to you? Well, he's had two good games, but um, I still think he's got a lot of improving to do um, and a lot of developing to do to really play to his potential. So, But he looked good out there today. You know, they were giving him free access, so it's not going to be like that next week. Derek, They're going to put their hands on him. Derek Dillon Brodus kicked the uh, mm -hmm. field goal on the kickoff. Is anything wrong with Flaherty? Was that just letting him run? Well, he missed a PAT and he missed a field goal. So, um, you know, we need to make those. And I got to go see what the issues were on the film. We put Drummer in at the holder uh, and he made his next kick. So that's obviously a concern going forward. And, um, you know, we'll go see what the issue was. In the past, you've had some slow second halves to start. Were you pleased with the energy that they, I mean, and yeah, I think so. No, it's not a concern. I mean, we, we came out pretty good last week, and we came out pretty good this week. So, uh, you know, we got a good stop, and then we went down and scored. Uh, what was the third quarter? 13 nothing or something? Two touchdowns? Yeah. Defense played good. So, like last week, the defense, you know, came out shaky and then maybe buckled down in the second half. Is that what you saw tonight? Well, we settled in the second quarter, but they were, they were, we were playing a little, uh, they were, they were doing a lot of crossing routes and that caused some issues in man to man. So we had to change what we were playing. We lost the edge a couple of times in the run game and their back did a nice job. Uh, and then we played soft a couple of times on those little play action short throws. So they did a good job and, um, you know, but then we, we kind of settled into what they were doing. Derek, was it precautionary to keep Herm and Kurt out? No, they, they wouldn't have played, you know, no matter who we played this week. So we need to get them back. I know that. You feel like they'll be back next week? I we'll see. Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's always a concern. What did Legit do? What's He's got a toe, turf toe kind of deal. Was it during practice? Mm -hmm. He did it in the game, Georgia State, I mean, uh, NC State game. With those two out, you plug in a fifth-year guy and a junior, just another sign of kind of developing depth. And yeah, Willie B. You know, we put Willie B. in for Kurt. He does a good job, and and uh, Don Tavis Sapp is uh, he's playing pretty good for us. We got I got to go see how he played this week. So, um, but we still need those two guys back. But it's good not to have to put a freshman. I think that's your point. And we got a lot of freshmen playing tonight. You like what you got out of the 
out of the way. Wildcat. Did you like what? Uh, yeah, we had a couple good little plays out there with Justin King. That's a little, you know, new wrinkle. I uh, wanted to get out there and see how we looked, and so we'll see. What's that? In your opening statement, you said, you know, obviously there's a lot of mistakes, a lot of concerns. What do you, for you is the biggest concern that you can see at least right now? Well, uh, you know, I always go, it's never as good as you think, never as bad as you think. But the two I already mentioned, you know, we had a, didn't get a short yardage, and um, and we missed a PAT and a field goal. So those those stand out. I mean, those are pretty obvious. You, you'd like it to be perfect. You need a clean game. They rare, It rarely happens. So there's always plenty to correct and, and get better at. Are you guys planning on getting Marlon more involved and then cough it up there? And yeah, I mean, you know, and we got three guys and it's, you know, it's hard not to just base it on who's producing at the time. And you can't put the ball on the ground. He knows that. He'll be fine. Following up on that there, is Q Watson somebody that... Yeah, I thought Q looked good. He ran with toughness. He's got a burst. I like Q. Um, so, I was. It was good to play him. I wanted to play him. Coach CP in the you know, return game is that mm -hmm. kind of what you expected from that season? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he he showed. I thought he was going to score, um, but what did he have? A sixty-one yarder. Yeah. Sort of same question with Devers. I mean, you guys look really explosive. Today. Well, we have some guys with some ability, and we're still not as good as I think what we could be. Um, so. But, but Devon and, and CP both have good return ability. And we got to do a good job helping them as coaches and blocking up front and to get them some air. And when you get those guys a little air, they're hard to bring down. Vera got on track for you a little bit. Yeah, it was good to get him going. You know, I think he came out of NC State a little disappointed, but uh, we're trying to manage him through. And that was good. He, he looked good in the pass game there. He hit a couple down the seam, caught a touchdown. So it was good to get him going. 70 yards is a good number for a tight end. Eric, today was the first home opener versus Georgia State. Your team has won 17 consecutive home opening games. How do you prepare your team mentally to come out and play well at the home games? Um, we don't really do anything differently. Uh, I just I think it's always an exciting time for the players, the first time they get to play in Neyland Stadium. So, and most of the ones I've been involved in We've had a lot better players than the other team, and that tends to help the coach out a little bit, too. What did you like about what you did defensively? Well, we settled in again, you know, in that second quarter and third quarter. Um, and I like how we came out of the halftime, played well in the third quarter on defense. Now two games in with the new system, is there anything that really sticks out to you defensively that you, you want to get tightened up before Florida? Yeah, we have a ton of, you know, just – a lot of corrections on alignments, formation recognitions, techniques. There's a plenty to work on. Plenty to work on. Anything else? Good, good. Thanks. Okay, guys.